GMA investigates in this morning an important warning about smartphone security. Turns out some free apps on your phone can be a gateway for thieves to steal your personal information or even listen in on your conversations. ABC's Mara Schiavocampo is here with more on the story. And good morning to you, Mara. Lara, good morning. That's right. Some of the most popular free apps, things like flashlights and even the Bible, may be designed just to collect your most personal information. And they're doing it mostly through the permissions that you agree to. Smartphone apps, they make your every want or need just a download away. According to a recent study, most of us spend an average of two hours and 42 minutes a day on our phone. And it's not just for talking. 86% of that time is spent using apps. But GMA investigates learning you might be unknowingly opening a door to cyber thieves by downloading certain free apps that are actually designed to steal your identity, your financial data, even spy on you. Experts say most free apps make money by selling certain personal data. It's what you agree to. But some free apps created by hackers embed malicious spyware or malware into these apps with the sole purpose of stealing your most private info. And once this happens, your information, even on supposedly secure sites like banking apps, could be hacked. It's spying on you and it's spying on these other apps. Using a phone with malware, cybersecurity expert Gary Milewski playing the role of a hacker shows us how easy it is for crooks to steal personal data on your phone. He takes my picture. Okay. Can we see the photo? Will it appear there? And sure enough, it's now on his laptop. The phone was even recording our entire conversation. Right now, a command was sent to the phone. It is eavesdropping on the microphone right now. So this is the conversation we were just we were having. having yeah. We were being spied on. Application Developers Alliance, a trade association, tells ABC News that app developers are doing a remarkable job maintaining consumers' trust and securing their data, including adding features to protect anonymity and privacy, but ad consumers must protect themselves. Experts say don't install apps asking for more permissions than they need. Uninstall any apps that you don't use, do a little spring cleaning, and you may want to opt for paid apps, which tend to ask for fewer permissions and free apps. And another thing, games. A lot of kids download things on their parents' phones, yeah. and a lot of those are designed yeah. just right. to get them to download. I delete. Yes. Yes. Exactly. But you're smart. And then, they put them, a few right now, and then they put them right back on your phone again when you're not looking. So you can unring that bell, though? If you, you can uninstall them, okay. yes, absolutely. In the worst case scenario, you might have to do a factory reset, but that's only if you know you have a oh, problem. Oh, boy. I'm going to need a tech advisor Very. for that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mars. GMA investigates in this morning an important warning about smartphone security. Turns out some free apps on your phone can be a gateway for thieves to steal your personal information or even listen in on your conversations. ABC's Mara Schiavocampo is here with more on the story. And good morning to you, Mara. Lara, good morning. That's right. Some of the most popular free apps, things like flashlights and even the Bible, may be designed just to collect your most personal information. And they're doing it mostly through the permissions that you agree to. Smartphone apps, they make your every want or need just a download away. According to a recent study, most of us spend an average of two hours and 42 minutes a day on our phone. And it's not just for talking. 86% of that time is spent using apps. But GMA investigates learning you might be unknowingly